I just got a new car. Usually when you get a new car, you don't have reference. And, and let me explain what I mean, right? You, you get a new car, the old one was a totally different make model. You don't know what to expect of the new one. You don't know what changed between the old model and the new model. In my case, that's not true. I ended up buying the same car. And one of the things that I realized about it was that in the center console in my old car, there was a little, little dish in there that, that kind of like held random stuff, change or whatever. The new car, literally like it doesn't have that. It has a spot for it. Like there's an, a recess where you could set it in, but it's not there. And uh, I went and looked at the Tesla website and they went $35 for the thing. And I'm not gonna pay $35 for, for this stupid little tray, but I do want it. So I'm gonna make one, obviously. I think I can make one pretty easily and uh, just 3D print it and, solve my problem. All right, so here's the center console I was talking about. Um, open this up. You know, it looks pretty normal, except for that if you notice right here, around the edge, there's a little lip. In the old car, there was a little dish. It's at right here. I did look at the website. It also seems like there is uh, another accessory that can go right here on, uh, on this lip in here for, for putting a little tray right here. I, uh, I might do that one too. I'm gonna take measure measurements for it. I don't know yet, but um, while I'm in here, I might as well take that. <laughs> Holy cow, man. That is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, well, I guess if I'm gonna be nitpicky, it can be like, oh wait, that's interesting. Hold on. Four millimeters wider and 13 millimeters deeper. So four wide, 13 deep. Otherwise, I don't think I have any issues here with anything running into each other. Um, my radiuses look real good. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, well, we started out printing one and ended up with two. So here's what happened. Um, this one, you can see it uh, looks like something terrible happened here and because something terrible happened here. So the the nozzle clogged on this um and i was printing it in the abs glass fiber and uh it just clogged it was printing like the printer was running like it was just printing nothing it was printing in thin air when i came and saw it so that's that's about the end of it um unfortunate and i also don't have enough filament left to do another one of these here though this one this is done in well, one, the print finished, and two, I did this in the new TPU for AMS. And uh, I think it turned out really good. The only problem that I had with it was removing all the supports. And I got a little uh, out of hand here, um, and I kind of gouged that out. Um, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, I took a video of removing the reports of the supports. It was, it was pretty rough because it's, I mean, this stuff's rubbery and, and it sticks to everything. So either way though, this one looks really nice. Now, all I need to do is just take it out to the car and see if it fits. Surprise, I also made the second tray for the center console. Based on my learnings from the first one, I printed this one at a 45 degree angle sitting on its edge. This cuts way back on the supports and the sound of them coming off is exactly what you're looking for. Super easy. Thanks for stopping by and watching all the way to the end. Please like and subscribe on your way down to the description where you'll find the link to print these trays yourself. And until next time, I hope I help you learn faster.